where he's gonna demonstrate how she makes a phone call. So she was in her keyboard and then backed out of that. And then she has to choose the phone icon on the Dynavox. As I stated before, some days are spot on and other days can have some issues with access. It could be a positioning issue, it could be a body issue, it could be a motor planning issue. Right now she's probably very excited about this videotape activity. So that impacts it as well. So now she's selected the phone contact list. She's trying to call her stepdad. So you can see how many um, opportunities, how many tries she has at trying to get that right. Let's see the clock. Choosing, choosing, choosing. Okay, calm, calm your body down. You can use verbal prompts. Um, try and get her to calm. Sometimes if she's spasming and turning to the right, you can tell her soft body or center. We try and prompt her to um, have deep breaths. She's having a particularly hard time right now. I'm going to take the deep breath. She has to dwell on that long enough to be able to make the selection. She chose someone else. She chose home. You could do that, Maria. If you want to call home, that's okay as well. You want to just make the... Some of these buttons are placed in a place where it's very difficult. It's a hard choice. That one's not really particularly hard, but sometimes the positioning in the wheel bed is not optimum. Things get a little bit out of kilter. I'm gonna help you with this selection. Just for, okay, so she would select that contact See, and with this many missed attempts, then you would definitely check your positioning to make sure you're accurate with positioning. So now the, she's made the call. Hello. Hello. And then ideally, what she would do is go down to this icon here, and I'm going to show you. She would hit this icon, which then takes her to greetings. Um, uh, these are what we call quick fires. Quick fires are just that, you know. But still, you can see how labor intensive it is on a day like today, where nothing seems to be working. So anyone who knows it's Maria, identifies the number, already knows kind of to wait and reciprocate the calling. I'm going to check the positioning. And see, the positioning is pretty far off. So you're trying to get the eyes in the green box and in the, when things are flashing, that's usually a light issue. So the light here may not be the best. Um, but usually there's a couple of other settings you would test so you can see that one selected see how with just that slight bit of adjustment she's a lot 
she's a lot more successful. And it could be a matter of just tilting her head up a little bit more. Sometimes just like a chin tuck, like this, this much of a chin tuck can be the difference in it. I'm gonna help her go back to the main menu. How's it going? So you see how she makes the selections. Can adjust the volume on this by this button here on the right side. Okay, we're gonna go back to main menu, Maria, and back to the phone, and then Maria can hang up. So, show how you hang up. The phone isn't as perfect as we would like it. We need some more programming on it, but as everything, it's a work in progress. So close, girlfriend. I don't know what's going on today, but it's kind of... Yep, see, she's tilting her head up on her own, kind of like that's what she's thinking she needs. So anyway, to hang up, you would select this button like that. I'm going to hold your head up for you a little bit. there. I'm trying to hang up. Okay, and she got it. Okay.